Oh, wow. Wow. So this guy goes to Fiverr, hires a web developer there to build a website, and then this web developer manages to siphon off $90,000 from payments made through that site. What the Let's get into this one. This is ridiculous. Hey, Archie C here. Listen, don't forget to get on our official mailing list. We have the free stuff, like free stuff. We have a free ebook for you. We have so many coding tips, real world insights, and so much more. Link popping up. It's also in the description box of this video. Yeah, I lurk on Reddit. What? <laughs> so this guy posted to Entrepreneur the other day, just yesterday. Lost $90,000 due to the Fiverr platform. Here is how it happened. I'm gonna go over this and I'll read some comments and I wanna hear what you guys think of this because I definitely have my opinions as a freelancer, as someone who avoids Fiverr like the plague. A developer I got on Fiverr is scamming me. I hired the guy to develop a website that could accept payments. The platform was designed in such a way that people could scan a QR code to make payment or simply enter their Visa cards and pay. It was all good and glory until I recently realized that he had interchanged the QR code, replaced it with his. This meant that anyone paying via the QR code was in essence paying to him and not us. Since he was the developer, he had also done a backdoor that could send the users a payment confirmation, hence making everything look authentic. I only found out when I did an audit and found funds missing. Further investigation showed that so many of our customers had full access to our platform and yet their payment never came to us. Total money lost, $90,000. The guy no longer replies to our emails, his Skype is deactivated and his Fiverr account no longer exists. We have since turned off QR code payments. What do we do? One of the most top rated comments is, hmm, there's a lesson somewhere in here about trusting your company finances to strangers. You're somebody else's cautionary tale, hopefully. And then this person said, it's about trusting somebody you can't easily sue or catch. Everybody starts out as a stranger. There was also some conversation in here, practically speaking, about getting this guy's money back because if he was using crypto, it's gonna be leagues harder to recover that money. And they were also talking about something interesting, Fiverr's liability in this type of situation and what type of information they may have about this allegedly fraudulent Fiverr web developer who skimmed off $90,000. I'm sure it's somewhere in their terms of service that Fiverr is completely off the hook for this type of thing. I'm sure this is also not the first time this type of thing has happened, but what really gets me, now I'm not trying to victim blame here. The person who stole this money is a thief. 100% no excuses. At the same time, you have to do your due diligence and you cannot be cheap when it comes to these projects, especially when it comes to payment processing. This guy made a really big mistake and I don't need to tell him that. I think he's pretty much aware at this point he made a big mistake hiring someone on a platform like Fiverr to do this level of work. As other people were commenting in this comment section, which it has over 500 comments, but one of them was like, the name of the URL is fiverr.com. This is a site for $5 projects, like simple voiceovers and, you know, small commissioned work. This guy is kind of getting clowned in the comments, but there are a fair amount of people who are like, dude, what are you doing with this type of project going to Fiverr or trying to find someone? This person says, as the spouse of a designer, this is a friendly request not to use Fiverr. It's a race to the bottom that brings down the whole profession. TLDR, Fiverr, you get what you pay for, hire a lawyer and get your stolen funds back. This person says, a good amount of my new clients tell me horror stories about Fiverr before reaching out to me, just happened two days ago. Exactly, these stories are not uncommon. And even when I was working on my course, Freelance Newbie, some people gave me some pushback. They were like, well, it's a good course, but you didn't tell us how to set up profiles on like Fiverr and Upwork. Bro, because I actually want you to get paid what you're worth. Fiverr is not that place. This person has some quick business advice. Write off the loss and move on. Make sure any future work performed is checked by someone you trust locally. Boom. This comment pretty much sums it up. So let me know in the comments, do you guys think this guy invited the drama by bringing this big of project over to a place like Fiverr?